So something important that I forgot to mention in the previous video, if you're trying to work out the determinant of two vectors, um, the, deter the value of the determinant could be a positive or it could be a negative. So if you want to know the area of the parallelogram, you will need to take the absolute value of the determinant because the determinant could be uh, the value of the determinant could be a positive value or it could be a negative value. So as a reminder, uh, suppose you want to work out the determinant of two vectors. You would rewrite this vector as one vector here. Rewrite this as one vector here. So now it would be this times this, and then take away this times this. So that would then give you this. So this here is your determinant. Um, now let's extend it. Now let's extend it to 3D, just to give you an idea of what's going on. So let's extend it to 3D. So suppose you have three vectors: one vector, one vector, one vector. Rewrite as this: one vector, one vector, and one vector. So to work out the determinant, uh, remember this thing here could be a positive or it could be a negative. So to work out the determinant, uh, we would we would the, well the first one would be this. And then, uh, and then discard uh, straight across, discard straight down, and then just look at this. Looking at this, it would be you working out the determinant of this. And then, uh, and then the second one would be you looking at this one here, which is this. And then straight across, discard, and then straight down, discard. Now you need to look at, at this. Okay, so so this here would be this. 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 So, uh, so looking, so, so let's start again. First one would be you looking at this. Discard everything straight across. Discard everything straight down. So you should look at this. So that would be, uh, that would be this. The second one would be, would be you looking at this. Discard, discard, discard straight down. And then just looking at these four. These four. And then the third one would be you looking at this. And then straight down, discard, straight across, discard, and just look at this. That would then be this. And then it will always be positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, if you were to extend it. But, uh, but, uh, but we are only concerned with uh, 2D and 3D. Beyond 3D, you, you would need to, um, to take linear algebra in order to understand it. So for the time being, just, just accept this is the, uh, the pros. I'm just asking you to accept that um, to work out a determinant, you would need to follow this process. And I, uh, and at the moment, you don't understand why this process works. I'm just asking you to to accept it. If you really want to understand it, the, then you need to do linear algebra. So uh, to work out the limit, uh, the determinant of this, that would then be this. And by the way, the the value of this thing here, the value of this thing here. Remember, it could be a positive or it could be a negative. Um, the value of this thing here. If you take the absolute value, it would it would give you the volume of this thing here. Okay. Uh, and uh, sorry, and by by the way, you don't know why it gives you the volume here. I'm just accepting. I'm just asking you to accept it. 